The Sky is Pink had its world premiere at Toronto International Festival last month, and now it's ready to release October 11th. We have with us the star cast, Priyanka Chopra Jonas, along with Rohit Saraf. Welcome to INS. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much for having us. So, so many movies release every month. Why should the audience go and watch The Sky is Pink? Well, I mean, who are we to tell the audience what they should go and watch? But um, this is a very special film based on a very special real-life couple who thrive through uh, extraordinary circumstances. And I feel like in the cynical world today where we're all so individualized, where we live our own lives, you know, this film shows you what, what it can do when you have a family, when you have family support and when the family sticks together. And I feel like when I read the movie, that's what, you know, jumped out at me so much because my parents were like that. They were extremely supportive and that gave me the ability to be who I am and where I am today. Um, so I think it's a really special movie. Don't leave your brains behind to watch this one. You'll need your brains and your heart. Well, I can talk about my experience and um, the reason why I wanted to do the film is I think would also uh, make sense for the people to go and watch the film. It's because for me, uh, there is, I am sure when people watch it, if they watch it, there will be one thing that they'd want to take back from this film home and uh, there will always be something that they'll resonate to. Uh, for me, this talks about love, togetherness, um, the loss and uh, it talks about all these things in a very unique and a very different perspective. Uh, this changed my perspective, the working on this film has changed my perspective for the better um, and I think that is why people should go and watch it. Um, rather, I hope that they go and watch it. I know you don't really like the distinguish between, you know, differentiation between women and, you know, man, whether it's actors or directors, but this is your second movie with the female director, uh, Shunali Bose. So tell me, when you choose movies, how important is the gender of the director and also the experience? Is it different? Well, you're asking the wrong girl, babe. <laughs> Um, to me, nothing makes a difference. I don't think gender defines anything. Um, a woman and a man are capable or as incapable as their merit makes them. Um, working with Shanali was my honor. I think she's an incredible filmmaker um, and her gender doesn't define that. I don't think your estrogen changes the kind of films <laughs> that you make um, and nor does testosterone. So I, I think she's an incredible filmmaker and um, the kind of stories that she has told and will continue telling I think will define Indian cinema. You have worked with quite a few women directors, Irama, yes. Gauri just Shinde. Just start saying director, please just start saying director. Yes, so how was the experience? My experience has been lovely. I think it's about time. Uh, as we're talking about female directors, I think it's incredible that so many female uh, directors are coming out and they're making such great cinema. I think it's time that they should be holding the baton and going forward. Uh, it's amazing. I've loved working with all the female directors that I've worked with and I look forward to working with a few more, hopefully. Right. Would you like to direct a movie someday? Um, it's something that makes me nervous because uh, it takes a lot of... It's a lot of responsibility, but slowly I've moved from acting to production and hopefully I'll make that transition too someday. Last few words for the audience. Well, I'd like to say our film comes out October 11th. Um, not, it's not just my film after three years, but it's also a really, really special film, I think, which will be disruptive um, in the middle of um, all of these pot boilers. This movie is made with all heart. It is something that will remind you to call up your parents or your loved ones and tell them that you love them. So go to the, go to the cinema and enjoy the experience of feeling moved. Uh, for me, the experience of this film, if I had to define it in like one emotion, I think it would be how I feel um, after having an entire like a massive meal when I'm really <laughs> hungry. That's how the experience has been. It's been uh, satisfying. It's uh, it made me feel satiated for now. Um, I think that's how the audiences would feel. So please go and watch it. We've put in a lot of hard work and we've made it with a lot of love. And I'm certain that if you go and watch it, you will see that in our performances. Thank you so much for your time. All the best for your Thank movie. You for right. us. With camera person Alok Bhatnagar, this is Natalia Ningthaujum for INS. Subscribe to our channel, just click on the bell icon for all the latest updates.